Hi, man. Obviously, I can't imagine how upset you are at the, that result, obviously, after being uh, away for so long. Can you try and put it into words how you're feeling right now? Um, heartbreaking, devastating. It's been a it's been a long, 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 long road to come back, you know, to come back to that is, uh, it's, it's upsetting, it's upsetting, to say the least. When it happened, did you know it was an eye poke? Did you think you punched him? Were you confused what was going through your head? I thought it was a, a punch, a punch, because uh, the combination of the throwing was a um, cross head kick, you know, and as I, as I throw the cross, he kind of ste stepped in to close the distance, and then I, see, I seen him grab, grab his eye and turned around, and um, I thought it was a punch, you know, so... Um, I wish Bilal <clears throat> nothing but full recovery, obviously. Um, it's accident, it's accident. I didn't mean it, so I wish him nothing but recovery. Did you know, based on his reaction, that the fight was going to be over at that point? Um, not, not at the start, you know, but when I seemed to start crying, I was like, shit, it must be bad now. Because uh, um, <clears throat> before, you see loads of eye pokes in MMA, and you can't take five minutes to recover, you fight again, and... I was just getting, getting into the flow of it. Um, I felt great out there. I know everyone was talking about the ring rust and it's been 600 days, how did you feel? And I felt good. Um, I heard him in the first round. Going to, in, into the second round, I was just getting the momentum to what to um, show more. And it was just a, a sad thing, really. Yeah, you, you landed that great head kick in the first round and he looked very hurt. Did you think the finish was there? When How hurt do you think he was? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. The finish was, the finish was there. Um, I kind of rushed my work a little bit. I, I should have took my time a little bit and picked the shots. Um, the, head kick, the head kick caught him nice. Um, I should have kind of rushed it a little bit, to be fair. I should have took my time a little bit, picked the shots um, correctly and uh, I could have put him away. Do you, I'm not, I know you say you don't believe in ring rust, but do you think that could be like sort of ring rust, you know, just rushing because you haven't been in there for so long and being overexcited or something? Um, nah, I've done, I've done it before when I've been active, you know, so probably something, something I need to work on. Uh, where do you go from here, man? Like, obviously, you've been out for, for, you know, half a year, year and a half even, and uh, it just seems like your path is as murky as ever right now with the way this went. So, in your opinion, what what's next for you? Um, I believe a tar shot should be next. I've rebuilt myself back up since last competing against Usman. Um, won an 8-5 in the streak. This tonight was going to be 9. The right was on, was on the wall, you know. I was winning the fight clearly. Um, so I, I believe I should be next to a title shot. I have, like I said, I built, built myself back up. So that's what, that's what should be next, I think. But if they go Usman Masvidal and they do the ultimate <coughs> fight and they don't fight until September or something, are you willing to wait that long? Do you Or do you need to keep more? Um, no, I will. Probably not want to wait that long, you know, because let's say the fight in September, they won't fight now till end of the year, next year, so I'll, uh, I have to be active. I'm 29 years old, so it's been a long time off. Um, we'll see. I'll speak to UFC Monday, Tuesday, and we'll see what's next. This is a bit off topic, and I don't know if you're in the mood to talk about this, but the last one from me. Marvin Hagler passed away today, and I know that you're a fight fan. Do you have any memories with Marvin, uh, w watching his fight or anything? It's mad, yeah, because all week... Since I've been to Vegas, all I've been posting on my Instagram is like Marvin Agler, Marvin Agler. For some mad reason, I had like a mad feeling. Um, just I felt like just that spirit, you know. So I've been watching him every single day um, since, since last Tuesday. Watching him, watching him, watching him. And I posted him um, um, today, like two hours before he passed away. Then I posted it. Then my, my, my coach came in. I'm like, you know, my, why, are you, why are you posting him? You know, you know he passed away. I was like, no, he didn't. I just, I just posted him. I was like, oh, it's like, is, I wish him, his, him and his family, um, sad really, and he's a, he's a legend, and I've, I've looked up to him, he's, the way he's aggressive, and the way he's a switch hitter, I was switching today, you know, and um, it's sad really. Thanks, man. <coughs> Leon, uh, right here in front of you, do you think what happened tonight could have been avoidable in any way? There's a lot of debate right now online about maybe the UFC gloves and how maybe they're conducive to eye pokes and things like that. Do you think this is anything that has to do with that, or is this just, no matter how the gloves are made, things like this could happen? Yeah, for sure. it's a free accident. Like, it's one in a million that would happen, you know? Um, like I said, normally you do get pokes, but you can take, take the time off to five minutes, recover, wash your eyes out and go again. But to have it that bad is is um is rare. Don't really see it. much stoppage in May like that bad, you know. So uh, I don't think it's the gloves. Cause I think I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of them freak things. Uh, 
my whole camp of preparing to go out there and put on a master class and I never f imagined doing that, you know. I've done, I've done it my whole career, so it's one of them things. Was there any concern on your part that there might be a disqualification there? Because you were warned in the first round, too, about potentially, you know, keeping the fingers out. So do you think with the warning that maybe could have led to a DQ here? Um, no, I, I, not really. Not really. No, because when, when he warned me, I kind of, I did, I did put my finger down, but as I was throwing a punch, he stepped in and closed the distance, you know, and got caught, you know, it's, it's one of them things. But I wish Bilal, um, obviously, full recovery. Um, I know it's a fight game, but there was a life after fighting, you know, so I wish him good health and full recovery. Is there anything you could say that's the most disappointing about this? Is it the fact that maybe you don't get the win bonus, you don't get a win on your record, the winning streak kind of has a no contest mix in there now, uh, or just the fact that it doesn't really give you specific clarity as far as your future? I'm sure, you know, you say you still want the title shot, but this could maybe, you know, hold that back a little bit, just the way the fight ended. Um... All the above you just said, you know, <laughs> we all play, play, play from my mind and backstage, just speaking to my team and my manager and just saying, what, what now? You know, it's been a, a long, long, long up shit, um, year and a half, and to come back to to have that happen, it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's just sad, and sad. Do you have any interest in fighting ball again, or do you feel in the lead up to what happened there, you proved you're the superior <laughs> fighter? Um, no, I, I don't feel I need to to, to fight him again. Um, I, I want to fight him because all the other guys turned me down. You know, I was the, the writing was on the wall. I was winning the fight clearly, and um, I, I don't feel I need to fight him again. I need to move move forward. I'm on an eight fight win streak. That's the third most in the promotion history. It's me, Usman, and GSB. You know, so I feel like I earn my way for a big fight now, and we'll see what's next. Is there any positives you can take away from tonight? Um. He got you got, got in the cage probably. Um, even though it's only one round, you I still did the whole preparation of fight week, cutting weight, and um, going in, and going into the cage. But that's the only thing really. Apart from that, I didn't get to show what I've learned over the last year and a half. Me and my team have worked day day and night and just improving myself, and that's what I did with the year and a half. And sit, sitting down and just complaining, you know, I was kept my head down. Um, Grafted, knowing that one day I was, I was going to come back and, and and show my improvements, but to come back to this is like, is heartbreaking. Yeah, I mean, is it everything you've been through over the past couple of years? Though, does that maybe help you prepare for the emotions of this, something like that? Because you've kind of just gone through such a roller coaster, this almost in a way feels kind of in tune with what you've dealt with. Um, probably when I sit back and next week or something can think about it, but now it's just. I don't know. Now it's just heartbreaking. Is that's it? That's all you can say. It's just I haven't really thought much about the last year. Or it's because of the last year. That's what, that's what, that's why this happened. It's more just about is shit. <laughs> I feel shit and it's just feel shit. <laughs>